I have had so many requests from you to see more of my travel albums. And I've been working on some trips that we took several years ago, and I just wanted to take a moment and share those with you. So I hope that you will enjoy this little um, glimpse at my travel albums. And I will be having some classes coming up soon on how to put your travel album together and get it completed because that's the most important part. We wanna relive those amazing memories and put all the little details in that we've taken the time to remember and write down and add that memorabilia because it's not just about the pictures. It's about the moments. It's about the little things that you saw, the things that you did, that you did together. So we're gonna put those together. We're not gonna be afraid to put the tickets in and the maps in and all the extra stuff that you bring back and you're gonna have it all in one place. So you can review it anytime you wish. So without further ado, let's get started. It is always so much fun to finish up an album from a trip. And this is actually a trip that we took um, in 2016 and even though i had printed my pictures had them sorted i had all my memorabilia with them and so it went really well to um, put together this album uh, even though it was six years later so this is a trip that we took in 2016 and just an opening part of it. Now these next two pages are ones that I had done um, several years ago and so they're in a different colorway and I'm not going to redo them. The journaling was done and the information that I wanted was there. Um, so I just left it and I love it just the way it is. Doesn't bother me a bit. I love using the little flaps and adding extra hidden journaling, putting all the details in, adding an extra half page. I had, I had a lot of pictures from this and I didn't want to do two complete uh, layouts of it. I had a lot of journaling I wanted to do. So I just added the little half page with my larger six by 12 flaps. The flaps are always a great way to add journaling, add extra pictures. They're just a ton of fun for me. I highly recommend them. And this was a fold out page and I put a lot of different things in there. I put the little trail maps. I do hand journaling. Um, people say, and I don't care for my handwriting, but it just doesn't bother me a bit. Um, this was one that we did in a little class and just kind of layered it up. It was a really fun trip and I love looking back and kind of reminiscing. I like to write down, you know, if we went to a restaurant, what we had to eat or take a picture of the, um, menu as we did here. Lots and lots of pictures, which I love. And this, actually, there's my page. So you can use the pocket pages in here as well. When you have a lot of pictures and the journaling is kind of the same, you can stick your pictures right in the pocket pages and enjoy all of those. Add um, journaling either on your regular page or in a pocket. And I create little pockets out of my paper just to add um, maps and things. Sometimes I put them right down on the page itself. Um, but scrapbooking to me isn't just about the photos and the pretty things, although I love the pretty things. But I like to include the memorabilia, the things that I bring back from my trip. 
I save those up and I add them in here and I'll be doing a class on that. So if you want to know more, let me know. But again, adding the peekaboo pockets, the large peekaboo pocket. There's just so many times where I have a couple extra photos and I don't wanna do a whole nother spread of it. These peekaboo pockets in the six by 12 are perfect for that. It's like the page and a half. And here I just created another larger flap. Let me get that in the camera. Just created it out of paper, out of cardstock. And again, this time I'm using a uh, five by seven peekaboo pocket, but my item was actually taller than that. So I just, I just cut the top and tucked it in. It is open right here, but that just doesn't bother me. It's keeping this attached where I want it to. So I just used the five by seven peekaboo pocket and just put a little slit in the top. It worked perfectly. And again, another six by 12 peekaboo pocket. I have my journaling, I have uh, photographs, and I've even tucked in some things here. This is just a little information about the town and the different things that we did, and I wanted to keep that in there. So I just tucked it in just like that. Again, a lot of photographs, which is what I love. We take so many. I like to print them, and I like to put them in my travel album. So, so many things here. Again, more of the peekaboo pockets. This one has the journaling on the back. And again, I've included another um, little piece from the bottle houses, the little uh, handouts that you get. They have all the information about where you visited. Uh, postcards are great when you can't get just the perfect shot, but here is the postcard. Here's the picture I took. It was kind of fun to have them both there together. I take a picture of a lot of signs because all the information is on the signs, right? So take a photograph of the sign, um, bring it back, and you have all the information that you need. Again, using a lot of peekaboo pockets because I had a lot of different photos of this, but I didn't want extra spreads of those. This one I just popped up on some foam squares, so it's got a little dimension here. And another six by 12 peekaboo pocket. It has the journaling here. And this is actually the, um, the menu, or not the menu, but the placemat. And it was really fun and interesting, so I put it in here. And I created a little triangle here to just slip that into so that it didn't fall to the bottom of my peekaboo pocket. And using some of the smaller peekaboo pockets for the extra pictures. This was just such a fun vacation and I love reliving it, going back through and looking at all of the things that we put in there, all the things that we did, it makes me want to go back. Sometimes I put little tabs on them to open them easily. Sometimes I don't, just kind of depends upon what I feel at the time. But a lot of fun ways to relive the really fun moments in your life of your travels. So this was just a little piece that I created out of cardstock and added. And the journey is almost over. But here is something I added just with cardstock into the back of my book. Um, a few extra pieces from the trip. And 
it is finished. And if you had noticed, this is a um, custom album that I did uh, through Creative Memories. It is so simple to do, and it's so much fun to personalize your album. And I also personalized the spine because as I have this sitting on the shelf, it is so easy to just grab this one. I know exactly which one it is. I can pull it out, we can look through it together, and um, it's absolutely stunning. So highly recommend uh, the personalized, the custom albums.